Hi guys, saya Pusher Awani, host anda untuk Dry Post Webinar pada kali ini. Welcome guys, selamat datang. Yang mana baru tonton tu, jangan lupa tonton webinar ni sampai habis. Okay? Dan hari ini kita punya topik sangat best, sangat special iaitu Move to Learn which is storytelling with physical play. Dan hari ini saya tak keseorangan, saya ada Nadia Hashim Hi. dekat sini. Hai, selamat datang. Nadia Hashim merupakan Head Educator dekat at Exxon Children's Center dan memegang ijazah psikologi dekat UIA. Selamat datang lagi sekali. Thank you sebab Mas, sudi luangkan masa dengan kita. No worries. Okay, guys. Ha, untuk mami-mami yang baru macam puteri kan? Ha, untuk parents yang baru nak jadi parents. Korang mesti nak tanya banyak soalan dekat Nadia. Dan Nadia, are you uh, ready nak jawab soalan? Hopefully, ha, yes. So, korang jangan tanya dulu. Biar puteri dulu tanya. Sebab puteri tak tahu apa itu physical play. Boleh tak share sikit? Apa tu physical play? Alright, definitely. So, physical play is actually a whole bodily movement in children. So from like crawling to walking to running, those are all physical plays. So physical play is actually one of the crucial elements in a child's life um, to actually develop. Uh, so it doesn't only benefit our gross motor skill. So gross motor skill is like running, walking, and when that develops, all the other areas will also develop too, like language and also cognition. Yeah, so that's physical play. <laughs> okay, Nadia, bagaimanakah uh, ibu bapa ni boleh turut serta dalam physical play dalam rutin harian anak-anak kita? Okay, uh, so how we can do that is uh, we know with the new normal, parents are always at home now, so they can spend more time with their kids, all right? And kids are also they rarely get to go to the playground anymore, right? So what parents can do with their kids is to create your own outdoor activity or like physical play, okay? So one way to do it is to actually incorporate physical play and storytelling, all right? So I'm pretty sure you do storytelling with your kid as well, right? Okay, so that's actually one way to do it um, by incorporating storytelling. So this way it gets to stimulate their imagination and then to create stories with them to see um, what their interest is about. Yeah, so that's one way to do it. Korang mesti tak tahu kan, tak ada idea nak buat physical play apa dengan anak-anak kat rumah kan. So Nadia, boleh tak share sikit tips ataupun idea yang kita orang as a parents ni boleh buat physical play dengan anak-anak kat rumah? Alright, sure. I have a few tips actually. So first of all is to actually choose a suitable book. Alright, so um, to choose a book that is that supports their physical and language development, and then second of all, to also consider their developmental age. Alright, so this is where you see how old is your child, and then what you can do with that with with them. All right, so probably below one years old, you can incorporate a lot of like crawling on the floor and then also parents can also do it with your kids okay and then maybe when they already started trying to walk you can also walk with them all right and then for the age group for one to two you can add more movements maybe you know walk faster all right holding their hands and maybe walking across the river so things like that right so maybe two to three years old where you can add even more movements like running and like climbing because this is when they want to explore already right so yeah so moving on to the next step is whereby you can also get creative and make it more fun by creating your own stories all right so you can also pick up a theme so for example if your child really loves dinosaur right so you can focus on that topic and then maybe you can create some also include some props as well maybe including their favorite teddy bear favorite dinosaur toy so this would make it even more um, engaging for the child all right so another tip i have for you is to always praise your child so if your child is doing it really well they're running really fast you can always say things like good job well done all right so because children they enjoy a sense of accomplishment and success so praising them actually motivates them to to try different skills as well all right and the last tip i would have for you is to have an ample space when you're doing this all right so uh, more space equals to more movements yeah, so those are the tips I have for you. <laughs> wow, best kan? So Puteri sure korang semua pun dah tahu tips dan ada idea dah sekarang ni. Esok nak buat physical play apa dengan anak-anak. So walaupun kita nampak benda tu macam simple tapi impact, impact dia sangat besar dekat baby-baby kita. 
Jadi tadi kita dah dengar dah apa itu physical play, kita dah faham dah macam mana cara nak bermain physical play dengan anak-anak kat rumah. Dan sekarang ni, apa yang terngiang-ngiang di fikiran Puteri dan juga penonton kat rumah Puteri Shua, diaper apa yang bagus untuk anak-anak kita sebab mereka berlari, mereka berlompat. So kita kena pastikan ada diaper yang bagus untuk tak bocor dan tahan lama. Okey, Puteri nak suggest dekat korang, dry first dry pants sebab anak Puteri dah guna lama sangat dah. Ia tahan selama 10 jam Mempunyai padanan khas Dan juga ada penunjuk kebasahan So korang tak perlu risau lah Thank you so much Dan insya Allah kita akan jumpa lagi Dekat next Drivers Webinar Saya Putri Awani Jumpa lagi Bye, Bye.